All right, welcome to Sunday Night News and Nonsense with Total OS Today and Spatry. We call it Sinner for short. I think that's what it is. And Total OS Today will take it from here. Thank you, Spatry. But are you feeling okay? That was a rather subdued introduction. Is there something going on tonight that I'm not aware of or just one of those? Uh, I haven't had my coffee yet today. Oh, so you're not your normal self. Darn it. Okay, well, that's the end of the show. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let, let, me, let, me do, let me retake that intro. Okay. In three, two... All right, welcome to Sunday Night News and Nonsense, Sinner for short. I'm Spatry, and I've got Total OS today with me in this wonderful Spatcast Toss Cast podcast, and I'm going to pass the mic over to Total OS today. Yes, and I'm not going to edit out the first part either. <laughs> so welcome back to a, another, uh, this was originally going to be called a TTTB or a Toss Today Tech Brief, but last week on the last Linux A team, he suggested that we call this the Sunday Night News and Nonsense Report. I wasn't too sure, but after I thought about it, I thought, Spatry, Fine. So here we are, the first or the second, if you want to include the first TTTB. This is the podcast number two, I guess, that Spatry and I have been doing this. The first one, of course, last week. Yes, the Sunday Night News and Nonsense Report. Sinner. Sinner. And you guys can guess who the sinner and who the victim will be for this uh, tech brief. And yes, <laughs> and yes, uh, and yes Spatch will be doing all the jokes. That's why this will be the first official <laughs> Spatcast. I just love it. No, he will not be spitting at me. Thank you very much. But, uh, all right. Before we begin, some wonderful news for the gentleman who probably is consider, considered one of the founding members, if not the father of Linux, I would dare say. You may have heard of Linus. Linus oh, yes, Torvalds. we worship him. Yes. Uh, Linus Torvalds. I just printed this out today, but let me read part of this. I have some notes here. It's, it says here, Spatry, that Linus Torvalds receives the 2012 Millennium Technology Prize. Now, this is from Finland, and I think Linus is from Finland, I do believe. He is. Okay. He is, and uh, this is the equivalent of the Nobel Prize, right? Yeah, from what it says here, yes, it is. This is, I guess, a bi-yearly uh, prize from the Technology Academy of Finland, and it's maintained, I guess, by the Finnish government. This was introduced, and I'm reading this hot off the press, as they say, introduced in 2004. The Millennium Technology Prize is the largest technology award and it is said to be the equivalent of the Nobel Prize for Technology. Ooh. Uh, now, this uh, this prize... Interesting. And guess what? The prize is going to be a year's supply of rice a the San Francisco treat, and a new car. Well, unless that car is a, a $600,000 Ferrari, because Mr. Torvalds and a, another winner by the name... And I hope I say this right, sir, if you ever listen to this, Shinya... Yamanaka, they will be sharing approximately $1 million prize. So congratulations to both. I think it's terrific. Absolutely. Yes, but that will buy a lot of rice but um, <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, <laughs> anyway, congratulations to Linus and Mr. Yamanaka. He won it for some kind of medical research testing, I would imagine. Uh, congratulations to both. I believe the ceremony, if I read this correctly, will take place, of course, in Helsinki, Finland. Uh, I think June, let's see, June 13. Yes, so congratulations to Linus. Congratulations to Mr. Shinya Yamanaka. Well, I really do hope I say that right. Congratulations to both of you. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, and that's definitely something I'll be keeping an eye out because I definitely, I'm sure they're going to have video footage all over YouTube once this releases. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, and, and for for Linus Travals to get an award such as this, that's really got to say something. So it's definitely, awesome. yeah, awesome news. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Okay, let's get to the real uh, Sinner report, I guess. Did you know, Spatry, that Linux Mint 13 will be released at the end of May, and it is going to be called Maya? And from what I see here, Linux Mint 13 to be released uh, towards the end of May. 
it will it will be shipped with the separate mate and cinnamon editions. Now the developer, Mr. Lefebvre, I think I'm saying it right, has named this, I guess, after his daughter. Maya, which is, of course, a beautiful name. Now, of course, there is going to be speculation. The number 13, unlucky, the Mayan civilization, 2012, the end of the world as we know it. Of course, if this thing is shipped with, with a lot of bugs, it may feel like the end of the world. You know, I can remember when I was in the sixth grade, one of Nostradamus's prophecies said that the world was going to end, and... Uh, uh, I can remember the principal coming up on the intercom and saying, you know, well, the world hasn't ended, so everybody back to class. And everybody went, oh, darn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it didn't end. So, oh, we were hoping for that. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, yeah, uh, according to a lot of the programs I saw on the History Channel and that sort of thing, yes, uh, 2012, uh, December 2012, the Mayan calendar comes to an end, and uh, all of us go to uh, hell in a handbasket. And, uh, well, I, I don't know about that one, but, you know. Um, well, uh, I, I, I certainly hope that is uh, not the case. I don't think it is, but I certainly hope not. But that being said, congratulations to the Linux Mint team. Uh, I'm curious Definitely. about Linux Mint 13. I'm actually waiting for that. So, yeah. I'm excited to see that as well. Uh, I know I have a number of uh, Linux Mint videos up on my channel, so I'll definitely be reviewing it. And uh, I'm also interested to see what the uh, Cinnamon interface is going to bring to the t yes. tape in the next release. So, uh, But I have had a chance to play with Cinnamon in uh, Archbang. I thought it was very nice, and um, it's definitely welcome to a lot of people who really do not care yes. for the Unity or the GNOME 3 uh, user user interface. Yes. Okay. Well, let's, let's move on to the next one, if, if we may. Um, the next story, well, Google officially is dropping support for Picasa for Linux. Um, Way back when this was, and I guess it still is, one of my favorite uh, Photoshop or photo programs for both Linux and Windows. Now, there are other good ones on uh, that are available that have come on the scene over the years. So this is probably not a big loss for the Linux-based operating systems. Um, Spatry, how do you see it? Um, you know what? I saw the article earlier today, and I was thinking to myself... You know what? I use Mirage, and I use a Dolphin, and I have thumbnails oh. enabled in Dolphin and everything. And uh, so between Mirage and Dolphin, I use those two. Really, I don't care for those uh, photo editing managers and that sort uh. of thing. And I mean, I've got a lot of images myself. Yeah. But the thing is, you know, um, one nice thing that I do is when I have images in collections, what I do is I compress them into a zip file, rename it to CBZ which is a comic book file, oh. and then I have all these little editions that are, you know, all these images that are compressed, and then I can just open them up in events and, you know, flip through those images, and it's like a little miniature album, and, I'm, mm. and the events has the built-in comic book reader. Cool. So, yeah, um, actually, and you know what? I ought to put up a video on how to do that because that, that's something that's really cool. You know, you don't have to have these fancy photo managers right. because Linux has so many different yes. ways. So when I there was no love loss when I read that article earlier today. Well, all I can say is this is a picture-perfect perfect piece of news. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one up. Now, this I was really excited. This is concerns Ubuntu 12.10, which, of course, it's not now. That's like six months from now. But apparently, see, originally I read this as guess the name of Ubuntu 12.10 and win an Ubuntu wet t-shirt contest. But it's not that at all. It's, it's guess the name of Ubuntu 12.10 and win an Ubuntu t-shirt. I'm like, darn it. But uh, stop, stop <laughs> snickering already. But <laughs> but it's, it says here, um, let's see, Ubuntu 12.04 hasn't been released yet. But yeah, I guess I guess they will be releasing the name of Ubuntu 12.10 right after 12.04 is released. Is that Wednesday or Thursday? I lost track of time. Uh, that will be uh, Thursday, I believe. Okay, so if you guess it, you can win an Ubuntu t-shirt. I and I think the deadline is actually today, so I may want to hop on line and do this because I have the answer. I know what it's going to be. And can you guess? 
Uh, you mentioned it before okay. in one of these podcasts, what you think it's going to be. Um, What's your take? Personally, you take a guess, yes. Um, <laughs> oh, geez. Here, here it comes, folks. Look out. Quintessential. Yes, that's mine. <laughs> Quintessential. There, quintessential Q-tip. How about that? Quintessential Q-tip. Hey, okay, now listen up. You can clean out these freaking bugs with this Q-tip, okay? After you squish them, you just rub them off the Q-tip and you're okay. So don't worry about there, Tony, okay? I prefer quintessential quail. Ah. Yeah, and I, you know what? And if, and if that's it, I want more than just a freaking T-shirt. I'm telling you that right now, Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. How about quagmire quail? If it has lots of bugs, sure. That, 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 that works too. Well, folks, as funny as that was, we may have a better one. The, the last one, the best for last, and we did not make this up. Uh, boy, I'm having trouble keeping a straight face, but here we go. Okay. This has to do with Fedora, of course, another popular Linux-based operating system. And it will appear in the Fedorama as soon as it releases. Now, officially, it's um, February. No, not yeah, February. Fedora 17. Now, <clears throat> according to the board, I guess the members of the board, whoever they decide to call this, mm -hmm. this is going to be called, and I'm not lying unless it's a joke, but I didn't read it as a joke. Spatry, it's going to be called, and they have a picture of a hot dog and relish and stuff, but it's... Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. It says... It says <laughs> see what I mean, folks? I'm the victim. Here. Go if, ahead. All right, if... <laughs> I can't do, wait. <laughs> it's going to be called Beefy Miracle. <laughs> my question, yeah. Now With my a picture of a hot dog. Now my question is, when they <laughs> thought of this in the boardroom, was this before or after taking Viagra? I didn't actually describe the entire process of making a hot dog. <laughs> his ass <laughs> anyway like i was saying the yeah. other thing i was gonna say no 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 beefy <laughs> miracle fedora 17 you guys <laughs> fedora 17 you guys can run away with this this opens up a can of words when you call something beefy miracle now spatry says this was designed for the ladies or something yeah, uh, clearly, yeah, initially when you told me that, you know, obviously this is what they were going to call it, clearly this is meant to draw in a lot more ladies into Linux and that sort of thing. Um, I Oh, I do have an announcement. Oh, go we ahead. We will be recording for you folks out there who really enjoy, uh, who really enjoy myself being tormented by Spatry. We will have the very first debut of the PCA team. Tentatively scheduled to be recorded uh, Monday night, which would be tomorrow night as of this recording. We should have me, you, Infinitely Galactic, and Twill this week in Linux. And it's basically just to be a you know, toss cast or a podcast about dual booting, dual booters, just, just to let the Windows folks not feel left out. So it's we had thought about this, and originally... I really didn't want to do this till really next month because you know we really have you know full schedules, full plates. But I thought with all of us, you know, it's hard to get everybody on at the same time because of all the Amen to that. different time zones, especially IG. I thought you know if we get on tomorrow night, let's just do it. It's probably going to be a once a month thing, but please keep on the lookout for that. The PCA team for oh, yes. dual booters. I'm looking forward to that. So. Oh, yeah, definitely. And uh, we still have the Linux Zoo Crew, which is happening every Saturday night. Yes. So uh, you definitely don't want to miss that. And we've been just getting – we've just had this trend. The shows have just been getting better and better and better as we go along. Yes. And uh, people just can't get enough of them. And I was amazed at the number of people we had 
uh, that were actually uh, sitting in, listening live. And I mean, we even had technical problems, but we were able to still get the show started on time. I was amazed. You know, we've got wonderful support from the uh, community. Voltem was there. Setco was there. So we nice. were able to fix all the problems and get it all rolled out and started on time. Uh, absolutely amazing. So Wonderful. And, uh, yeah, I, I love the direction that these uh, podcasts are taking. And as yes. all of you listeners can tell, we have a wonderful time doing these, obviously. And uh, yes. Yes. none of this is scripted. <laughs> Folks, when we are done, I'm going to have to edit out really, <laughs> really cold jokes. Uh, sorry about oh, that. But please I'll, don't do that. <laughs> I, no, sorry, Spatry. Just one or two. I, I kind of squeaked in my chair, but I'm sure the, the, the kind folks will understand. This is a family show, except yeah. after 10 o'clock tonight. Oh, it's after 10. Let's get dirty. No, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. But, uh, anyway, yes, the Zoo Crew, the Linux A team, the, the boys a lot, the PC A team, the Toscast, the family. We are family. I'm going to cry again like we did last week. But no, no, no. Um, Yes, keep on the lookout for those shows. Um, I think that's it, Spatry. Yeah, so all I, right. You know, yeah. So uh, I think we can end this. Uh, well, I guess we can end this Sunday night news and nonsense report sinner or the second TTTB, but that doesn't quite match. TTTB, mm -hmm. the sinner, the victim, it sounds like like a bunch of, well, never mind. But thank you, folks, for listening. We'll catch you in the future. Ciao. Goodbye.